Hey guys, Vimbron20 back again, and today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can determine a real painting or statue from a fake one in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So if you've been scanned by Red himself, and you're absolutely sick of it, then this video is for you, because we're going to go through every single painting and sculpture in this video so you never get scammed again. Okay guys, the first one we have is the academic painting, and to me this is probably the easiest one to figure out because the fake one, as you can see right here, has like a stain on the upper right hand corner, and the real one would be a clean copy of the painting, uh, the fake one has the stain. So that one's pretty easy to distinguish whether it's real or fake. Now, the real amazing painting is, um, it has no hat. If you guys notice in the real painting here, he has a hat, and if you look down at the fake painting, he has no hat the guy with the red sash there right in front he has no hat if he has no hat do not buy it you will be scammed it is fake now we have the real basic painting and i had a hard time finding this one because as you can see the real basic painting he has kind of like a forehead he's missing a little bit of hair and then the fake painting he actually has a full head of hair and every time i saw this in the shop it seemed like he had a full head of hair and i could never find the real one so that's how you can tell these two apart the basic painting he has barely any hair up top in the fake one. He's got a full head of hair. So pretty easy to distinguish this one. Now, the calm painting will always be real. You don't have to worry about being scammed with the calm painting. If you see it, you can rest easy and go ahead and buy that because you will not be getting ripped off at all. Same thing with the common painting. If you see the common painting, again, there's no forgery. There's no fake on this one. Feel free to go ahead and purchase that one as well. Now we have the detailed painting and this one's pretty easy to tell if it's fake or not because the real one is blue petals and the fake one is purple so if you see a blue one go ahead and grab it if you see a purple one leave it alone it is fake and now guys with these fake paintings you can't even sell these to you know to you know nooks cranny or anything like that so you are stuck with it all you can do is kind of display it in your house and that's it nobody else will take it or you're gonna have to just throw it away in the trash can next we have the dynamic the dynamic painting now this one will always be real if you see this one it looks like a wave it's real you can go ahead and buy it now we have the famous painting and this one to me i had a little bit of a hard time distinguishing it but the only thing difference in this one is the eyebrows if you notice the eyebrows on the fake painting they're a little bit more up a little bit and she has kind of like a, a it makes her facial expression look a little bit different but uh in the real one the eyebrows are a little less subtle so you can tell by the eyebrows that's how you can check um, with the famous painting now the flowery painting there is no forgery with the flowery painting this one will always be real so if you see the flower painting go ahead and snag that one because um you're good to go same with the glowing painting. if you see the glowing painting this one will always be real as well so it's not as hard as you guys think some of the a lot of these paintings are real and they always will be real but some of these ones that have like forgeries they're kind of hard to distinguish which is why i'm actually making this video now the graceful painting the only difference between these two that i can find out is it has this little extra marking on the on the bottom right there so if you see a marking an extra marking that's the real one if you see a nice clean version that's the fake one you want one that has kind of like a marking there um on the bottom right there where the where the dress is so that's how you can tell those two apart now the jolly painting this one's probably one of the easiest ones to tell if it's fake or not the fake one does not have like a plant in the chest the real one has this extra plant that's just kind of in the chest area so if you see a little extra you know plant there on the chest go ahead and purchase it because that is a real one and if you do not see that plant on the chest ignore it that is you know you do not want to buy that obviously uh, next we have the moody painting now there's no fake one for this one either so if you see this guy in the field right there you see this moody painting go ahead and buy it because it's definitely real now we have the moving painting now this one again i had a hard time finding this one as well because i always saw the fake one this one's a little bit more harder to distinguish because the real one as you can see there's trees in the upper right hand corner if you go down to the fake one the trees have been removed so that's how you can tell the difference between the real and fake with the moving painting the trees are completely gone so that's how you can tell so if you see no trees in the upper right hand corner for the moving painting ignore it do not buy it next we have the mysterious painting if you see the mysterious painting go ahead and purchase it because it's going to be real 100 percent of the time next we have the real nice painting again there is no forgery for this one if you see this guy playing a little flute here go ahead and buy it because it's safe he's good to go there are no fakes for that one 
Next, we have the real perfect painting. Again, no forgery, no fake one for this. If you see this one, if you see some bowls of fruits, get it. It's a perfect painting. They call it a perfect painting because it's perfect every time. 100%, there will be no forgeries at all here. Now, the real proper painting. Again, there is no forgery or fake. Again, guys, there's quite a few that are 100% safe to buy. You'll never see a fake one of these. So if you see this little girl here with, you know, wine and, you know, some fruit glasses, it's always going to be 100% genuine. If you see the real proper painting, go ahead and get it. Quaint painting. Now this one, <laughs> this one I always, again, saw the fake one. It took me forever to find the real one. And you can tell the two apart because the real one has a little stream of milk or whatever's coming out of the pot there. And the fake one has like a pretty dramatic a uh, wide <laughs> like a lot of it's like she's dumping it out a lot so you can tell a the difference there because the real one has a little small stream of milk or whatever coming out and the fake one's got a pretty large wide uh, stream of milk flowing out so that's how you can kind of tell the two apart there now the scary painting this one's really easy to determine because the scare the real one um the eyebrows are slanted inwards and the fake one they're kind of outwards so it kind of looks a little angry in one the real one it kind of looks a little scared um in the fake one so i don't really know why they call it a scary painting because to me he looks scared in the fake one and he just looks angry in the real one so that's how you can kind of tell those two apart um now we have the real scenic painting now this one um you can tell these two apart because in the in the fake one they're missing a couple of the animals and they're actually missing an extra person so the real one will have an extra will have two people in it the fake one will only have one that's an easy way you can kind of tell the difference there now the serene painting this one again i only saw the the fake one every single time and i finally just got lucky yesterday i was able to this is one of the last pieces i was able to find um you can tell the the real and fake between this one because the animal she's holding is completely white and the fake one is like has this dark color to it so it kind of and with like little white across the face um if you see the one that has all white fur then that is safe to buy but probably nine times out of ten, you're going to come across the one that has the dark fur and you do not want to get that because it's it's going to be fake. Next, we have the sinking painting. Now, this one is going to be 100% real all the time. So if you see this girl like in the river, she's kind of floating there and it's called a sinking painting. Go ahead and snag that because it's going to be real 100% of the time. Now we have the real, um, the, the Solomon painting. Now, this, this one was pretty easy for me to determine because as you can see, the real one, he has his hand kind of rested against the wall there. And if you look at the fake one, he's kind of has his hand up in the air. So if you see a painting that has the guy with his hand up in the air, stay away from it. Do not get it. You want the one with him actually have his hand on the wall. That's the real one. So next, moving on, we have the twinkling painting. This one will always be 100% real. 100% of the time, you're free to go ahead and purchase this. Same as the real warm painting. If you see the warm painting, the girl kind of laid back on the pillows there. Go ahead, feel free to buy that because it's going to be real 100% of the time. Next, we have the uh, wild painting left half. The real one's going to have a white creature in the upper left-hand corner. The fake one will have a dark green creature in the upper left hand corner. Now with the, you know, the right half, it's completely the opposite. The real, the real one is going to have a dark green creature on the upper right hand corner. And uh, the fake one is going to be a creature that's white in the upper right hand corner. So they're completely opposites. And again, this one kind of like threw me off a little bit because they're kind of the same. They're just kind of flip flopped. So that is one that may give you some trouble, but that's why I'm making this video to try to help you guys out. Uh, next, we have the Wistful Painting. This one's a little easy to figure out because it's all in the earring. If she has a star earring, it's fake. Do not buy it. If she has a circular earring, go ahead and buy it because that one is real. Now, we have the Worthy Painting. This one will always be 100% real. No need to worry. It's not going to be fake at all. So if you see a Worthy Painting, go ahead and get it because it's worthy of your purchase. Um, and that's pretty much it for the paintings. Now, we're going to move on to the statues. The statues are a little bit easier, in my opinion, to uh, determine. Um, we have that real ancient statue here. So this one, you can tell if it's fake or not because the fake one has antennas on the top here. If you see antennas, do not buy the ancient statue because it's fake. Uh, next, we have the beautiful statue. Now, this one is uh, really easy to determine because it has necklaces. And every time I saw this in the shop, she had necklaces. So I knew not to buy it. It's fake. So if you see the beautiful statue of this lady, and she has necklaces on, do not buy it. It is an absolute fake. Uh, next, we have the familiar statue. This one will always be 100% real all the time. No need to worry about that one. Now we have the Galliant statue. This one is pretty much the naked guy statue. 
Uh, you can tell if this one's real or not by the books that he has. If he has books, if he's carrying a stack of books, it's fake because the real one, he has no books in his hand. Now we have the great statue. This one's 100% real, 100% of the time. No need to worry about that. So if you see it in the shop, definitely grab it. Next, we have the informative statue. Now this one, probably the easiest one to ever figure out because the real one is black. The fake one is like this teal blue uh, color. So if you see the blue stone, do not get it. Do not get it because it's 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 fake. Next, we have the motherly statue. Now this one is that like that that picture of like a cow or whatever the real one has uh the uh the tongue in its mouth closed the fake one the tongue is kind of hanging out so pretty easy to determine so just get a close-up view of it when you're actually trying to buy it from red if you see the tongue hanging out do not buy it uh you want the one with uh with uh, the mouth closed obviously and next we have the the mystic statue this one's pretty easy if it has no earrings go ahead and buy it if it has an earring stay away it is fake. Now we have the robust statue. Now this one's pretty funny because the, the real one has no watch <laughs> uh, on the arm that's throwing the disc. And the fake one has a wristwatch um, right there on his wrist. So it's pretty funny. So if you see a watch on a statue, stay away. You do not want it. Now this one gave me a little bit of a hard time. The rockhead statue. The only way you can tell a difference on this one is kind of like the lips. The fake one, he's kind of got like a little bit of a smile going. So if you see a little smirk, Stay away, because he's just trying to scam your money right there. Now we have the Tremendous Statue. Now the only thing difference between this one, the fake one has a lid. The real one has no lid. So if you see an open top, buy it up because it's uh, it's open to buy because it's uh, you know real. Do not get the one with the lid on it because you're gonna get you're gonna get scammed. You're gonna waste your money and you're not gonna be able to sell it. Next we have the Valiant Statue. This one it was probably to me the one of the hardest ones to figure out because the only way you can kind of tell the difference is the leg you know one leg is sticking out different than the other one so um if the if she's sticking her right leg out it's real if she's sticking her left leg out it's fake that's the only way you can tell the difference if you want to you can kind of pause the video take a screenshot or guys better yet i will have a link below to this full article this article helped me out a ton that's probably the best article out there so i will have a link below to all this information if you guys don't want to have to rewatch the video and you can just kind of get the information from this article feel free to do so next we have the warrior statue now the only thing difference between this one is the fake one he's holding a shovel the real one he's not holding a shovel so if you see the warrior statue and you see him holding a shovel do not get it it's fake and that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much been every single thing all the paintings all the statues leave a comment below guys let me know did this video help you hopefully it did like i said i will have the link in the description box if you guys want to go ahead and go to this article yourself so you can read it sometimes it's easier to have everything in front of you and it's kind of nice to kind of bookmark it on your phone in case you do want to have a little reference you know if you do go to red shop really easy all you gotta do is check to see if it's real or not so you don't get scammed now with that being said guys i do have my art museum 100 completed and if you guys are wondering how i was able to do that be sure you watch my other video that I posted the other day, it tells you how you can actually meet Red over and over again. And it does involve a little bit of time traveling, but it was actually very easy to do. Like I said, watch my last video and you'll know how to do that as well. Now I'm going to leave you guys with my 100% completed art museum. I'm pretty proud of this. It took a little time to do, but it was a lot of fun. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what a full art museum looks like in Animal Crossing New Horizons. That's pretty much all for right now, guys. And as always, there'll be more to come shortly. Thanks again.